Hi everyone, and welcome back to Scale Studio. Today we're going to be doing a review on One Man Army's newest line of 135th scale armor laser cut stencil masks. I'm really excited to tear into these with you, so let's get started. As of now, there are two United States sets, three German sets, and one Russian set, and they look really nice. Let's start with the US sets. As you can see, they're all packaged in a cellophane wrapper with two pieces of glossy cardstock that protect the masks, which are the cover and then the instructions for applying the stencils. So first taking a look at the US serial number set, you can see that they're very crisply cut and there are a couple different fonts to mix and match with, and uh, there are a ton of different numbers. The other U.S. set is a ton of different sizes of stars, all scaled from World War II United States armor marking regulations. And as you can see, each has a little label next to it with the real life size of the marking. The set comes with normal stars as well as armor core stars with the ring around it. Now for my thoughts on these sets. I think they're overall really fantastic. The fonts look spot on and there are enough masks to last you forever. And they look really nice when applied. I do think that there are some things that could be changed, however. As you can see here, we have some of the prototype masks that Sven and I were working on when we were developing the set. I think that the main thing that could be changed is that there are no unit numbers or vertical serial numbers in the production serial numbers set. If some of the horizontal serial numbers were removed from the set and replaced with unit numbers, which are the numbers with the triangles you can see here, and some vertical serial numbers, which is just where the USA marking is above the serial number, that would really round out the set and make it very complete. As for the stars set, I really don't think it needs to be changed at all. If anything, the addition of the tank name stencils like Fury, Matador, and others would be a really cool addition, but not necessary by any means. There are also very tiny stencils on the prototype set, which would be a really neat addition and possibly a third set or just a couple added onto the current sets. Moving on to the German sets, we have a German Balkenkreuz set, a divisional emblem set, and a turret number set. As we saw with the US markings, these are really high quality masks and are really crisply cut. I really like the divisional emblem set especially because it has so many different options and it makes it really easy to make your model unique uh, by marking it for a division that there might not be a kit or aftermarket stencils for. I do have some input for these sets and I think that some of them may just be simple mistakes with cutting or design. For the German cross set the only masks provided are for the out white outline and there's no mask for the inner black cross. This should be easy to fix since the inner mask has already been produced, I was able to test it in the last prototype set. Um, those need to be added so the consumer can actually paint the full Balkan Kreutz. Similarly with the turret numbers, I think that the design is kind of tough to work with since all the layers are combined in one stencil. Uh, on one of the earlier designs that I worked with, it was much easier to work with because the inner color stencil was separate from the outline stencil. Finally, I think that some of the ammo crate stencils in the Eagle markings would be really cool additions to all German sets. Finally, the Russian set. I was not as involved with the development of this set, and I'm not as studied up on Russian World War II markings, but from the research that I have done, these look really good, and some can even be used on later, more modern vehicles. There's also a bunch of different types of numbers, and so they'll last you a while. So, are these sets worth it? At their current retail, which is around $23, they're about the same or even less than an aftermarket set of decals. And these are reusable, so they're a fantastic deal and will last you a really long time. Content-wise, I think that the US Stars set, German Divisional Emblem set, and the Russian turret markings are awesome and I would totally buy these as they are. I do think, however, that the US serial number set and the German Balkenkreuz and turret numbers sets need to be updated and fixed a little bit. 
I will say though, with the quality of Sven's work over at One Man Army, these stencils are going to be a must have for any serious World War II armor modeler, and I highly recommend trying them out. I will be featuring them in most of my builds from now on because I love how easy they are to use and how awesome they look when they're applied and weathered. Also, huge thank you to Sven for sending these my way to review. If you want to level up your modeling game, these are a surefire way to do it. One Man Army makes fantastic products, and I can personally recommend them since I have tried them and absolutely love them. If you want to get a set for yourself, there are several retailers across the UK, Canada, Australia, and the US. Links will be in the description for anyone interested. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today, but I am going to try to get my release schedule figured out. In the meantime, I'll probably put out some kit reviews that I have here and there, and soon we'll have some awesome builds going. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and if you know a modeler who you know would love these masks, share the video with them. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.